Hey, what's going on guys? Garrett here from EVChargerFast.com. EVChargerFast.com. We have three levels of install. We have a silver, gold, and platinum. Okay, now each one we have the option of a NEMA install. NEMA meaning the National Electric Manufacturing Association. That's NEMA. Uh, a 1450P. I'm sure a lot of you guys hear, which is that big oven plug. Uh, that does require GFCI protection if your state has adopted the 2020 NEC code. Uh, my home state of New Jersey has adopted it. That means anytime we put in a NEMA plug, we have to add $150 to the install to cover the GFCI breaker. So my recommendation to you guys because if, obviously if you're watching the video you're either an installer or you're gonna do it yourself or you're in the market we notice Costco is now selling juice boxes which is a great product they're $599 but they come with a NEMA plug on them so I know that makes it seem more simpler to do it but it actually costs more now because you're gonna to have to add that $150 breaker. So, in fact, tomorrow we have a few uh, juice box installs and my son Chris called him up and said, hey, can you switch it to the wall connector? Because then we don't need, we can save you that 150 bucks. The customer was like, immediately. So he took it back to Costco and then purchased one that is hardwired. Uh, now, most manufacturers do not want or require GFCI protection. That doesn't mean that'll pass code, okay? So if you're gonna do the NEMA plug, you have to put or just plan on putting that GFCI breaker in, which now puts you in a position where if there is an issue with the breaker or whatever small, those, those breakers will chip at six milliamps. So if it sees more than six milliamps, leave that hot leg and not return back, it'll trip out. It's known the instructions from the manufacturer of the charger, it might say on there, do not install with GFCI protection. Well, you're gonna have to if you're gonna use a NEMA plug, whereas most chargers have it built into it. The GFCI is built into the charger. I keep saying charger, it's not charger, it's wall connector, okay? The charger is built into the car. All you're doing is allowing for a signal, a handshake signal, okay? That's why if you look at the 1772, it's got the larger prongs with the line one and line two, or L1, L2, and a ground, and the other two are the handshake signal. So when your car is thirsty, it needs to get energy, and it's plugged in, sends a signal to the wall connector, hey, I need energy, they, they communicate, we looking good, I look good, I'm ready, you're ready, boom. I'll open up, I'll close my contactors and allow the house power to flow through into your vehicle. So again, we have three levels. We have a silver, gold, and platinum level. Level meaning amperage. That's evchargerfast.com's way of knowing what size service we're doing. So if you go to our website and you have a standard, say, Tesla Model 3, you'll be fine with the, uh, the silver level, which is a 40 amp line feeding um, either the wall connector or a NEMA plug, and that will allow 32 amps or seven kilowatts of energy to go through and charge your car up. That's what I have at home. I have a Model Y at home. It works, works fine. The next step up would be the wall connector, the gold plan, which is a 60 amp line, which will give you 11 kilowatts of energy to feed your car. So 60 amp line from your main panel to the wall connector or to the I'm new good, you're plug. good, then 48 amps of power runs through into your, into your car. So that would be the most optimum way if you wanna charge as fast as possible, you would go with the gold plan. Now the platinum plan is for pretty much only lightning chargers. You know, these larger uh, SUVs, these uh, new vehicles that are coming out, these bigger pickup trucks with these monster batteries, uh, they are using the lightning pro charger. So they get a 100 amp feed and then will allow 80 amps to pass through into your charger. Now, I wanna go back for a second. 
and I want you to look at your electric panel and I want you to the first thing you want to do is open up your panel with the panel closed don't don't take the panel cover off but if you open up just the door to your panel and kind of rub your ends of your fingers over the breakers and feel if there's any warmth there. If there's any warmth there, you need to call us because you don't want to be adding uh, these big loads to your panel if your house cannot handle it, okay? You're going to create a lot more problems. So, um, you know, unless you, just because you also see space in your circuit breaker box, you could have this big circuit breaker box with all this space. Oh, I got plenty of power. Wrong. Just because the, the, the capacity is there doesn't mean that you have the ability to put all that power in, especially if you have electric heat going or in the air conditioning in the summer, you've got a swimming pool. So you got to be really aware of your loads. So that's it for right now. GFCI protection for all NEMA, use it, check your code if it's 2020 or 2017, um, and realize that this is a lot of power, guys, and it's not something to uh, hold lightly. You don't want to call your brother-in-law up or the $66, $66 guy to do it, but I'm not saying they can't do it, but just look a little closely, closer, and also, once you do get your system installed, you want to go back and also feel your breaker, especially your main breaker. You know, put your fingers on the main. Again, with the cover closed, just the door open, just to see if you're having any, you know, because, you know, overload means heat. So when you have a lot of heat, then you know something is overloaded. The next step would be actually put a physical ammeter on. Um, or you can call your power company up and you can ask them for your peak demand. You can ask them, hey, what was my largest demand over the year? And they can tell you how many kilowatts that you've used. And then you can kind of do the calculation to make sure that, you know, all year round your power is qualified. So that's the difference between, you know, hiring a handyman or your brother-in-law or evcharge We look at those bigger pictures because we're the ones ultimately that have to answer and service and maintain your EV charging experience. So evchargerfast.com, Garrett Henderson, look for more videos.